I think this is trend that you do the hundred dollar challenge because you you just you've been visiting many countries and these countries are very expensive. But uh, when you when you are in India, if you do ten dollar challenge or twenty dollar challenge, that would be enough, especially in Delhi and Mumbai because you have so many choices, so much food to eat, and this is the food is so cheap that you don't need like you know ten dollar, fifteen dollar, maximum twenty dollar, and you are done. You are done. नमस्ते हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दोस्तों आपका एक बार फिर से तहे दिल से स्वागत है इस्तेबाल है मुझे पूरा यकीन है कि आप सब खैरियत से होंगे खुश होंगे और कुशल मंगल होंगे तो दोस्तों आज हम एक नए वीडियो के साथ आपसे मुखातिब हुए हैं आपसे मिलने आए हैं हमारी एक बहुत ही रेगुलर व्यूअर हैं उन्होंने मुझे ये इंस्टाग्राम में रिक्वेस्ट किया कि हम इस पर रिएक्ट करें और ये कहीं ना कहीं जो वो कंटेंट होते हैं ना जो आपको पर्सनली बहुत पसंद होते हैं उनमें से एक है जैसे मुझे ट्रैवल ब्लॉग्स बहुत पसंद है मुझे फूड ब्लॉग बहुत पसंद है मैं खुद भी बहुत अच्छा खाना बना लेता हूं तो ये भी वैसा ही कुछ मुझे लग रहा है क्योंकि चैनल का नाम है बेस्ट एवर फूड रिव्यू शो और वीडियो का टाइटल है इंडियन स्ट्रीट फूड हंड्रेड डॉलर चैलेंज इन मुंबई बेस्ट स्ट्रीट फूड इन मुंबई ओके आई लव मुंबई स्ट्रीट फूड आई लव डेलीज स्ट्रीट फूड ऑल्सो तो लेट्स फाइंड आउट कि क्या है ये मैंने ये वीडियो नहीं देखा है तो आई वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट मुझे पसंद है इस किस्म का कॉन्टेंट फूड से रिलेटेड तो देखते हैं उसके बाद बात करेंगे Shall we? Here we go. Here it is, the monstrosity, the Hulk, weighing in at one kilogram. This thing is gigantic. Let's try it out. Ah. Uh. The $100 street food challenge has been a huge hit around the globe. In Korea, we tried luxurious life. Yar, hundred dollar ka matlab kya? Kitna hua Indian currency mein agar hum, you know, karte hain convert to seven thousand rupees. Seven thousand rupees, na? मतलब अभी के हिसाब से देखा जाए तो 7400 के आसपास हो गया तो 7400 में अगर आप सोचें कि सिर्फ खाना खाना है और वो भी स्ट्रीट फूड ट्राई करना है तो इट इज टू मच साढ़े सात हजार का आप खाना नहीं खा सकते मुंबई में या दिल्ली में स्ट्रीट फूड स्पेशली क्योंकि हमारे यहाँ पे स्ट्रीट फूड जो है इतने एक्सपेंसिव नहीं होते तो लेट्स सी मुझे पूरा यकीन है कि बहुत मजा आने वाला है Let's go. Lobster tail covered in molten cheese for fifteen dollars. In Japan, I took down an ice cream Japan. cone covered in real gold, ten dollars. It just completely dissolves in your mouth immediately. <laughs> Now we're in Mumbai, India, and I'm challenging myself to spend one hundred dollars on street food in a single day. So will I be victorious? This is 15 bucks. We only need to spend like 85 more dollars today. Or will I look like a fool? Wo daveli khila rahi hai le jaake usko. Abhi 15 bucks 10 rupees mein bhi aata hai. Wo daveli ho bhi khaoge to waise hi do teen mein bada pao wo sab bhar jata hai pet yaar. I think people saw the title and they're like, "How are you going to pull this off?" <laughs> I'll be joined by a local foodie expert, Natasha of Curly Tales, hey, and Natasha. she knows her stuff. It's such a vibrant city. You'd find the richest man living in the city, and you'd find the poorest of the poor living in the city, and you'd barely see the disparity. Everybody comes to eat that street food. So hit the stairmaster <laughs> and prepare your deli belly. Today we're eating big in Mumbai, India. <laughs> नो आई एम लाइकिंग द वीडियो ऑफकोर्स वीडियोग्राफी अच्छी है वीडियो भी अच्छा है सो फार आई लाइक दैट लेडी ऑल्सो लेकिन जो म्यूजिक है ना यार वीडियो में मतलब बहुत सही काम किया है म्यूजिक के साथ इन लोगों ने बहुत बढ़िया प्रोफेशनल एकदम मजा आ रहा है म्यूजिक सुनने में मुझको हाँ मुझे खाने का मन कर रहा है दवेली आई मिस दवेली Stop one, the dancing dabeli. In dancing order to entice dabeli. patrons <laughs> and get some attention for his sandwiches, this man dances or um. Yeah, that's dancing, right? Oh. <laughs> hey. 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 Is he yelling at me? No. <laughs> okay, did I? Um, India is the best. That kind of thing. Hey. What do we have right here? Right here, you have the amazing dancing dabeli. <laughs> Now, dabeli is found all over Mumbai, but this dabeli is special. They're putting like uh, incense underneath. Actually, to keep away everything and for the effects. 
Oh. You know how you have these street side smoke effects. We're in a Bollywood movie right now, aren't we? we? Are. Oh, it's happening. <laughs> He's got the bread. He dramatically rips them apart, carefully slicing each one. It's not actually that careful. I think he might cut himself at some point. <laughs> I think so. Now he's ready. We've got a bun. Sweet chutney, garlic chutney, potato mix, onions, okay. peanuts, and now he's just going to fry them in butter. Oh, man. Well done. Come on, people. Okay, we got a little bit. <laughs> okay, the funny part is like the people, the local people around are like really enjoying this guy's reaction. Ki isko kya matlab hai na? Ki ek naya foreigner aake, the way he's reacting to the food <laughs> is really amazing. <laughs> Wo dekh rahe hai aise. So, aur... Even even appreciating, of course, yeah. this is our love to our guest. The foreigners are we really love them. Our is to have a man, Bhagwan, Saman. But let's, let's, anyways, I wanted to focus on food. But this video has lots of good takeaways like good music, good videography, and a good uh, environment. The, the people around and the way he, he, the cameraman is capturing the local people there. It's beautiful, yeah, amazing. मैं मैं बहुत सारे फूड ब्लॉग्स देखता हूं मुझे नहीं पता मैंने ये कैसे मिस कर दिया बट एनीवेज आई एम हियर तो आई वुड वांट कि मैं और भी ऐसे वीडियोस देखूं इस बंदे के मजा आया मुझको अभी तक शुरुआत है लेकिन आई एम रियली लाइकिंग इट I've just got like a little salsa of like peanut, onion, and garlic chutney. Same. Oh, yeah. Mung flour shavings. Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Ah, the bun here is super toasty, crunchy. Let's just jump into it. Dip it into that stuff. Mmm. Oh. Yeah? Did you even get any? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Compare those bites. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is so yummy. The masala is not too intense, which is nice. Yeah. The peanut. I love peanut in a sandwich. It's like extra, extra chunky peanut butter in there. And it's toasty peanuts, right? It's not just right. like, right. yeah. Crispy. Everything that fell out, I'm going to scoop it up like a nacho chip. That is heavenly. <laughs> mm. Very nice butter. <laughs> Very nice. Excellent, yeah. Excellent. I'm really... Uh, this guy really enjoy the food. मुझे समझ में आ गया और let's go ahead. Buttery, crunchy bun on the outside, full of dynamic flavors. It's a little bit spicy too. Yeah. Okay, that was a nice one, nice act. Like, you know, that guy was just giving high five to the uh, stranger and we don't understand these things, you know, especially uh, like, hota hai, but the new generation kids must be doing all these things, but the uh, mid-age, we hum, say ek generation, two generation, purane log hu aisa nahi karte, shayad. but it's okay, it, it was cute. <laughs> We have come to our second location right here. I think it's a big lentil fluff, Dukla. like fluffy lentil Dukla. mashed potatoes. So it's actually gram fluff. This is one of the most hot selling dishes here and it's Khamani. called khamani. Khamani. Yes, and you also get to eat that with green chilies. Do you think you can do that? I can, yeah. <laughs> I can, can we pretend? No. Like I'll take a bite no. and spit it out. No, and then, like, you have we'll to eat. edit it so it looks like I ate it. Is that okay? That's what I, I want to see you eat. Okay, great. Oh, really? <laughs> So right now, he's put some of the fluff on the plate, shaved graham flour on top of that. Coriander. 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 A big handful of onion, a couple of hot chilies, and then some little mirrors. Yeah, my the they even give us a little mirror so you can check your teeth uh, for food at the end. It's called jugard in jugard. India. Wait, I thought jugard just meant like, make it work. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. We're making it work. We don't have spoons. We're not uh, using plastic. All right, let's do it. So I'm awesome. gonna curve it a little bit. Let's try it out. I mean, she's awesome too, yeah. Is she a blogger too? Like, does she make something uh, related to food and all? So please let me know. If in case she is a blogger, let's watch her content also, please. You know? I, I like these kind of contents. Let's go ahead. Mm. Uh, oh, no, <laughs> It's amazing, isn't it? Mm. It's a little sweet, a little salty. The coriander makes it very fresh, and then the onion is a nice texture, a little nice. bit crunchy onion texture. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mm. I love it. It's very simple, but very delicious. And honestly, why would you mess it up by eating chilies? You don't have to. <laughs> so it's fried, okay? It's not like as intense as it would be. It's don't fried. Believe, don't, <laughs> listen, don't believe her. Ready? Yeah, take a bite. I'm gonna take a bite. 
You're not gonna? No, what it's the? too spicy for me. She <laughs> walks me through this huge tutorial and then she's like, but I'm not gonna. Okay, here we go. One, One. two. Uh. He's gone. He's gone. Oh, it's not that bad. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah. Okay. Just add a little okay. zing. Yeah, add a little zing. A little chili flavor. I love it. India has some of the most affordable street food yeah. of anywhere in the world, no but there's a lot of reasons for it, and one of them is the choice of ingredients and kind of the creativity with the ingredients. Yeah, like how one thing can be used for like numerous right. dishes, yeah. Even here, we have the kind of the graham flour mash, yeah. and then we have the shaved graham flour on top, yes. giving a texture. Yes. This is awesome. Our next food location. What we are having is an alu piaz kachori, onion potato mixture that's ah. stuffed in corn flour. Right. So this has been stuffed already. Yes, with onion oh. potato and a little bit of spices, mm. all of it mixed together. And it's deep fried. Wow. He kind of rips it apart and then he puts on this chutney. sweet chutney, green chutney, the shaved gram flour, onions, and of more chili. <laughs> <laughs> On the edges, it's nice and crispy, it's mm -hmm. heavy. And you're going to eat like a true Indian, so you're going to use your... Like a true Indian. <laughs> oh, that's a nice big bite. You've got yeah. some onions, coriander, yeah. all it on top. Let's go for it. Wow, that mint chutney is so fresh, but man, that is a heavy food. Yeah, it's really heavy. It's a bit spicy, got a little bit of crunch on the outside, but... Yaar. I don't have to say this because I'm doing a review of the video, but I'm feeling hungry after watching this video. I wanted to eat at least a piece of the veli or yevi mil jaye samosa hi mil jaye yaar i'm going to have some street food after this video otherwise it's just kind of like a, a thick way. savory pudding on the inside but you know you can actually customize this so if you want it sweeter you just add a bit more of the red chutney and if you want it spicy you more just green? add the green chutney well or this or, or that <laughs> chutney in solid form uh -huh. <laughs> ready and here i go Mm. Oh, the chili okay. is magic. Really? Mm -hmm. It soaked up a lot of that oil. It is so heavy. It's really heavy. But I love it. Okay. Just a few foods in and still not anywhere close to $100. Natasha and I are really going to have to step it up to make this happen. Hey! Hey! I'm so pumped right now. I'm just excited about the huge diversity of food here. Right now we have another one. I think this is trained that you do the $100 challenge because you, you just... You've been visiting many countries and these countries are very expensive. But uh, when, you, when you are in India, if you do a $10 challenge or $20 challenge, that would be enough. Especially in Delhi and Mumbai because you have so many choices, so much food to eat and this is the food is so cheap that you don't need like, you know, $10, $15, maximum $20 and you're done. You're done. So like what you're eating right now, uh, you already had Dabeli and you had this uh, Kachori and uh, one more thing that they had, you know, it's it's enough for one to get, you know, busted. This guy is quite hefty and foodie, so probably a couple of more dishes, but how much it will reach up to? Seven, eight dollars? Not more than that. Don't you agree with me? I mean, we know our street foods. So let's go ahead with this. And what is this? This one's called Ragda Puri. Okay, have you had a Pani Ragda Puri before? I've had a Pani Puri. You take, you take, can I, they take a crisp such as this, they hollow out the top. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they gently <laughs> hollow out the top and then they put in some like bean and uh, green water and things like that and you eat it. Absolutely. Now with the <laughs> yeah, ragda puri, what they do is that they take the same thing, they fill it up with ragda which is made of family of chole, it's chickpeas. like a family of chickpeas. They put that and then you add a little bit of moong which is like a lentil. So he's going to mix them up right now? Yeah. He starts with the crisp, putting a hole into it, and then so he's got this little mixture in this yeah, side so pan. Yeah, so a mixture. So that's the moong, the potato, a little bit of spices. He's putting all of it in the puri. Now he's adding ragda. Oh, and that goes inside of each yeah. one? Yeah. Some of the green chutney, some red chutney. It just keeps going. More salt, chaat masala. Some red chili powder, and of course... Oh my sin. lord, it never ends. That's coriander. Yeah, some peanuts. Alright, that's brilliant. So turn it up. Hey. Uh -huh. I got right. a spoon for you right here. I'm going to use my hand. <laughs> Today we are true Indians. Yeah. Yes, you don't use a spoon for this. <laughs> Sir, we are true Indians today. We're true Indians. He doesn't really give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab one back here. We have Ready? too many Indians uh, already. Wow, so much wow. flavor, so crispy. It's salty, it's sweet, crunch on the outside. The only thing you've got to do is go really quick and eat it fast because yeah, okay. you can see it's already getting soggy. Yes. It is getting yes. soggy. It's getting yes. kind of wet and moist on the outside. You got to be fast. Here we go. Mm. 
a tsunami of flavor. Tsunami That's delicious. Of flavor. And again, just kind of similar things that we've had all day today. But they all taste so different. In a different wrapping, different combo. Mm -hmm. So it gives you new sensations every time. That's right. I love it. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing similar themes in all the street food here. But here, it's all about this giant cracker. Is that the one we're getting? Yes, it's Offer. called a masala kichia. That sounds masala nice. Kichia. I want to name my daughter that. Masala, masala kichia. kichia. Good morning, masala kichia. <laughs> you got a big day today. You got to go to school and explain your name to everybody. What is a cracker made out of? It's made of corn and a little bit of rice, sabudana. Mm. And we're going to add a little ghee as well. Ghee? Yeah. Oh, God, I love ghee. Thank you for doing that. Yes, and then the smash. A tornado of onions, and there's some tomato here tomato. with cucumber, cabbage, all diced up. Some spices and red chili powder. This is a green chutney, sweet chutney. Shaved gram uh, flour, and, and then we got coriander. coriander. And then what was the last bit? Chana dal, chana dal. Here we have our Indian nachos. We're gonna grab the chips now, and honestly, when you look at this big layer of food, you can't tell where the chips are. You gotta kind of feel for it. Let's go. Mmm, there's a little cucumber, but it's not bad. I don't mind like a little mini hint of cucumber mixed with a lot of other stuff. I'm kind of surprised it's a bit like dry in yeah, your mouth. Yeah, it's a little dry. Mmm, it's a great yummy snack. It's actually a bit lighter than some of the other stuff we had. If you're looking to not eat something so heavy, it's very nice. How much money have we spent so far, do you think? <laughs> Less than two dollars. Are you? Anad, approximately three dollars. Yaar. Guys, I'm so sorry if in case I get lost with the blog video, you know, because uh, I'm feeling hungry now. We have pulled up at our final destination. We are at Om Snacks. It's literally Mumbai's biggest sandwich. Weighing in at one kilogram. Five layers. Five layers. Cheese, veggies, goat's cheese, more veggies, and just five layers of bread. You think you can handle it? I think I can handle it. I also like how we accidentally did a vegetarian tour today. How did yeah, that happen? Yeah, because a lot of street food is vegetarian. Yeah, that's fair. India yeah. is like the only place you can go to eat vegetarian all day and not even really realize it. I didn't eat any animals today. Let's meet the guy. Was this your idea? Yes, sir. What? Why? Why have you done this? It is too so flavorful. It's too cheesy. It's amazing. It's a lovely thing. You will love it. Do people usually finish it? We are actually finding that person. It needs minimum three people to finish it. Whoa. That's how big it is. <laughs> well, today, I'm going to take it upon myself. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. Right now, we're gonna witness the creation of this sandwich, my man. A little bit of margarine, a little bit of green chutney, chutney layer of tomato, tomatoes. then green pepper, chaat masala. Oh, cheese. processed the cheese. cheese. And then more margarine, more bread, more green. That's one there. Wait, so what is this one that they're putting on? In-house sauce. Oh, what sauce? It's an in-house in sauce. You look like a little kid trying to look at the sandwich being made. <laughs> <laughs> What's back there? Even more cheese on top of that. Margarine on the bread, a little bit more green. And then that's it. I think that, oh, oh no. no. More margarine, more green, more onion oh. now. Oh, that's goat's cheese. I'm pretty sure that's paneer. Oh, chaat masala. And then a little bit more. It looks like tofu though. Like color is such. Cheese, this is the white kind. Oh no, he's not done. More margarine on the bread, more green chutney. chutney. This is a whole new layer. We haven't seen this, have we? This looks like some onion masala mix. Grating more cheese. Another oh, piece of bread. Oh, that's mayo. Mayo? Uh, that looks like marshmallow. <laughs> more cheese. Oregano, chili flakes. Oh, cheese. This is all the layers right here. They're gonna put this monstrosity in some sort of oven to bake it. Said One it. kilogram of sandwich goodness. Stuck in the middle. It is the monstrosity, the Hulk. Oh. oh. Uh, what do you usually do so in this situation? Do you put on more cheese? That's okay. <laughs> Listen, that's still not a small sandwich. Yeah. Are you satisfied with the size? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is that an awkward question? Or? $29. Guys, we have the sandwich here. Oh, it's a big cut. Classic style reveal of even more layers. 300 rupees for this sandwich, and I'm sure that. Three to four people can eat this easily. Yaar. Matlab, pura ek meal hai ye apne apne. Ek kilo. Matlab, ek aadmi, osatan, dhaiso, tinso gran se yada nahi khasa ta hoga hai. You know, heavy, heavy for 300 rupees. Awesome. Inside. Well, let's try it out. <laughs> oh. Really? I'm good. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little mushy, mashy inside, a little crunchy on the outside. The orange layers, there's a ton of tomato flavor coming through. It's a bit spicy, it's cheesy. You can just feel all the layers of bread as you crunch through it. If you turn it upside down, you can really get that cheesy layer. That's what we want is that cheese. Oh, what is that, mayonnaise? Mm. Oh. <laughs> that is like a creamy, fluffy mayo. This is really good. I'm pretty impressed. This is like good hangover food, huh? Yeah. Take one more bite. It's a big monstrosity. I did not expect to see this in Mumbai or in India, period. This Look at the size, yaar. Matlab, you're not only eating with your mouth, but you're eating with your face. Awesome. It was worth it, man. But the mm. city I want of you sandwiches, try this sandwich. which is what this is called, right? I Mumbai is called the city of sandwiches. Is it? Huh? No. But they do like sandwiches. So, yeah, we do like us. In the city of sandwiches, this sandwich is the mayor. <laughs> is that right? Do you guys have a mayoral system? No. And we do have this. Oh my God, it has been an amazing, long, fun-filled day of eating. When you add it all up, the food costs this much money. Did we get to $100? Oh. <laughs> I think we missed it by a lot. So what did we learn today? It is impossible to eat $100 yeah. worth of street food in yeah. Mumbai, India in one day. Anywhere in Maybe India. Maybe in one year. <laughs> Maybe in five years. Indian street food is the perfect intersection of affordability and yumness. Elevating simple ingredients to their highest potential with dynamic flavors and joyous textures. Natasha from Curly Tales again. Curly Tales thank you so much for your company and all your knowledge about street food in Mumbai today. And for you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing okay. tours from north to south in all major cities, including Hanoi, Chang, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon. You can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. To learn more about One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A peace. Peace. Do you want to do it again? Yep. <laughs> no, only one chance. <laughs> great, great, great. Thank you so much for suggesting me this video. This video was awesome. One of the best uh, food blog, I believe. Uh, the uh, videography was good, uh, the uh, you know, um, music was awesome and there are lots of small small nuances, the cameraman was very good with his work and direction was very nice because the angle they were taking and the food they were presenting, you know, everything was awesome in this blog, really appreciate, I really appreciate that you suggested me this video and I believe and I'm looking forward to more suggestions like this. Uh, thank you so much for being with me. Thank you so much for watching this video with me because this video is already very old. It was posted in 31st March 2019. So I'm a little late to watch this video, but it's never be too late. And I really enjoyed it, thoroughly enjoyed it. And thank you so much once again. So, we'll see you in the next video, in the next vlog. Until then, keep your thoughts. Namaste.